Hello, and welcome to this edition of Value Added. I'm Damian Lara, your Bernalillo County Assessor, and today we want to talk about a tax savings program through the County Assessor's Office that could potentially save certain property owners a lot of money if they qualify. This is especially true for those who are 65 years of age and older, or persons with a disability. It's called the Value Freeze Program, and in effect, that's what it does. It freezes your property value at the current year assessment. Here to explain everything you need to know about the Value Freeze Program is our very own Customer Service Manager, Lynn Rabb. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, 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 sir. So tell us, Lynn, what is Value Freeze? The Value Freeze Program is for property owners who are either 65 years of age or older, they are disabled by Social Security Administration, or they have proof of workers' compensation disability, and it freezes the property values of their primary residence. They must own the primary residence. It's a single-family dwelling, and they must occupy the residence. If you qualify for this program, your property value is frozen at the current year, and it no longer goes up in value. That's correct, and they need to apply three years in a row for this program. So now we know what the program does and who's eligible for it. Are there any documents or evidence that property owners need to bring in to apply for this? Yes, they need to bring in a copy of their New Mexico driver's license or a copy of their state ID. They need to bring in copies of their state income tax or federal tax return. And if they don't file a tax return, then we need them to please bring in a copy of 1099s. We need a copy of the Social Security Disability Award Letter if they've received that or proof of their workers' compensation disability. So to apply, they need to bring in some documentation. So if they are based on 65 years of age or older and income, they need to bring in their ID and some tax documents like their federal income tax or a personal income tax return from New Mexico and show their gross modified income. Yes. If they're applying for this program under a disability, then they also need to bring in their Social Security disability letter or workers' comp disability information. That's correct. And I assume that they can get these applications both in Spanish and in English, like all of our applications are. That's correct, Assessor. And so what are some important dates that our property owners who are looking to apply for the Value Freeze program need to know? So they need to start looking for the application in January 2024. It'll be available on our public website, or they can call us to request us to mail them a copy or email them a copy, or they can come into the office to get a copy. And they have until 30 days after the mail out of the notice of value to apply for the program this year. Lynn, thank you so much for joining us today and for sharing this important information with our property owners. You're welcome, Assessor. And as Lynn mentioned, we are here to help. So please do not hesitate to call our office directly at 505-222-3700, where you can always count on getting a live person to answer your call. You can also visit us in person at 415 Silver Avenue Southwest or online at burncode.gov assessor. And we will be happy to help you and to assist you with this or any other property valuation related issue that you might have. I also wanna mention that you will be hearing more from our office about the Value Fees program in the coming weeks and months. That wraps up this segment of Value Added. I'm Damian Lara, your Bernalillo County Assessor, and we'll see you here next time.